What's up guys, this is Pete. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to install the Epson drivers for your C3500 color label printer. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website. I'll put the link up on the screen right now and I'll also put it down in the description. Once you're here, go to this drop down box and look for the detected operating system. Typically, this is the correct one, but you should double check your OS just in case. Once the page refreshes, scroll down and go into your Drivers tab. Here you'll find the most current driver for the printer. Simply click Download and wait for the file to download. This should only take a few seconds depending on the speed of your internet. Once it's done, you can open that and unzip it to whatever folder you want. I'm going to use the default folder. Once that's unzipped, don't forget to run your driver setup. Hit OK and accept the license agreement. This Epson printer utility setup screen will appear. Click Manual Setup and find the port that your printer belongs to. If you haven't set a port up yet, I'll be posting another video showing you how to assign a port to a specific printer. In my situation, I know that RC3500 is on 23. So I'll hit OK. This part of the installation will take a couple minutes. In the meantime, what you can do is go over to Manuals and Warranty and download this technical reference guide. This is a very useful tool for maintaining and troubleshooting with your C3500. I'll fast forward the video while we wait for this installation to complete and then we'll wrap things up here. Once that installation is complete, your computer will let you know that the printer driver was successfully installed. You can hit OK and you're ready to print. That's all there is to it guys. Don't forget, if you need more ink, labels, or supplies, you can check out our website at infinitylabelgroup.com, or if you want more information on our printers, contact us through ipsyscan.com. I'll be doing a couple more videos on installing bartender and nice label drivers for these printers, so keep your eye out for those uploads. Until then, I'll see you soon.